Yeah, baby. Hiya, Dick. What do you got in the way of trunks? Yeah, like I haven't heard that one before. Hi, Drew. It's me, Larry. Oh, hi, Larry. So, what's up, other than the obvious? I would really enjoy having a more in-depth discussion with you, Drew. Really? Me too. In fact, I could balk her all night long. Oh, that's pretty much what I was thinking. So, uh, you want to go back to my room to see my aircraft etchings? I'd love to, but I can't. Excuse me, could you look me in the eyes? Oh, uh, sorry. What do you mean, you can't? I can't, because remember, I ordered the cabin boy to lock up my clothing for the duration of the cruise, and you know I just can't violate the ship's rules and walk brazenly, boldly naked through the clothing required parts of the ship like some sort of exhibitionist. That would never do. No, I'll just have to stay here, lying here naked all night, the cool tropical breezes gently wafting over my bare skin. <sighs> I can't believe I've got to get a totally naked woman into her clothing. Drew, I'm gonna go now. Okay, maybe we'll be seeing more of each other soon. Like that's possible. Where could I find a cabin boy? I don't know where the cabin boys go. Maybe one of the other employees knows, so stop bugging me with your personal problems. I'm only here to serve our passengers. But I am a passenger. See, there you go again. Hello again, Miss Peggy. Hello, sh Ted. So, um... Where can I find a cabin boy, Peggy? You stupid son of a Don't you know you can never find a god cabin boy when you need him? Shit. I go looking for one near every night, right before bed, and do I find one? Hell no! Well, um, my needs are a bit simpler. Um, I just want a favor. Well, there is one sneaky-ass little foreign mother always hiding out down there in the employee's break room. Name of X. Squats or something like that, I don't know. Uh, why don't you try looking there? Thanks, Peggy. Good recommendation. I will. Peggy, I I've been in that employee's break room and um, I didn't see a soul. It was completely deserted, as if no one works on this ship. <laughs> Shit. Nobody does but me! I have to do everything around here! Peggy, swab the decks! Peggy, weld the railing! Peggy, hose off the captain's rubber sheets! Shit! Ain't nobody works like I do! Um, very impressive. <clears throat> and colorful. But, um, where's Exquisite's, um, he, he, if he's not in that break room? Oh, the sneaky little b****'s probably hiding behind the locker bay! Did you look in there? Which locker is Kizowitz in? Who am I? Rand f***ing McNally? Find your own way, Columbus! But you can bet it opens from the bottom, cause he's such a tiny little p I know I'll regret this, but, um, could you be a little more specific? Sh Did your mother have any children that lived? Second locker, bottom row, now beat it! And I don't mean your little weed whacker either. I can't get Susie Q's locker open. Do you know the combination? Oh, sure, kid. Why did you ask me sooner? 38, 24, 36. Seems so obvious. So, uh, Miss Peggy, 
Uh, would you tell me about Zekowitz EQ? Cheap f***ing foreign b****. All his kind wants to do is take jobs away from us real Americans. Miss Peggy, when was the last time you even saw America? 1973. And what's it to you, you little d**k Ever regret asking a question? Course the j**k's got one sneaky f***ing hobby. What's Executed's uh, hobby? Aye, that x lax is one perverse little mother f***er. Always sneaking around the f***ing ship's secret passageways, spying on the f***ing paying customers, that little bird. Is that legal? You mean is he legal? Hell no! <laughs> oh, but that don't stop the little bird from doing it, does it now? I'd like to know what he does with all the filmy shoots. A blackmail would be my guess. Or maybe the alt dot pervert news group. Is there anything Kuzuwitzikus needs? I mean, something I could give him to gain his favor? Arg! I don't know if he needs anything, but I know what he wants. And it sure ain't a whiff of my crabby p. Is there anything Stubby Quetzi Watts wants? Simple-minded little piece of sh**. Can't you figure anything out? He wants to get into the U.S. of A., all right? But he ain't got no f***ing chance, schmuck, because he ain't got no f***ing passport. Passport, huh? Well, that shouldn't be so hard to find on a cruise ship. You are one dumb son of a b***, ain't ya? Don't you remember what happened to all the passports when you came aboard? Ah, oh, no. Probably you were too busy sniffing them fine young officers, wasn't ya? Attention, please. Don has just captured the pious portion of ready. the contest. Signed, X. Hello, who dares to enter my private chambers? Ah, you here for dirty pictures? Huh? Oh, uh, excuse me. I'm Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you make me laugh, you big zero. Big zero? Huh, well, yeah, that is my cabin number. Listen, I, I, I can't quite read your name tag. Is that, um... Excel watch kits? Maybe. Maybe not. You here for dirty pictures? Uh, no, no. <laughs> um, at least I don't think so. Okay, whatever. You're the boss. Hunky donkey dory worry. Um, do you know where I could obtain some, well, photographs? You know, the, uh, <clears throat> good kind. Wink, wink. <laughs> Ah, Mr. Leafblower wants to buy some filthy pictures, huh? Oh no, I, I have no interest in pornography. I'm an artist. Oh yes, artist, me too. And these are very special. Oh, uh, how's that? Why, they are pictures of you! Wow, what? Hey, how did you get photographs of me like this? Oh, it's no problem, really. Fast film, very fast. Well, I suppose I should buy some pictures from you. <laughs> Can you um, charge it to my room? Okay, the doke, whatever you are saying. Bye-bye, Exy. Hasta la vista, Potsala. <laughs> <laughs>